Hey guys, it's Ian from Recoil. Today we're going to be looking at the BCM Recce Carbine. Now, in the last few years, you could go to a major manufacturer and say to them, hey, I want a lightweight, reliable AR-15 carbine. And they'd go, here, have an M4. So then you'd go back to them and you'd say, you know what, don't like the barrel profile, that gas system's too short to run on a 16-inch barrel, I want a lightweight free float handguard, and I don't need the front sight tower because I'm probably going to be using optics as well. And they'd go, hey, have an M4. We put some rails on it for you. At that point, you just go, you know what, I'm going to build this myself. Fortunately, BCM came along and actually listened to what their customers want, and they've made a reputation over the last few years of building high-end kit using top shelf components and it actually fits the bill. Another trend in the past few years has been shifting towards lightweight gear. BCM have managed to create a sub six pound carbine, it's actually 5.7 pounds, without having to resort to trickery like low mass carriers and lightweight buffers, which compromise reliability. How have they done this? Well, there's a couple of areas where they've managed to shave a significant amount of weight. The first one of these is the handguard and the second one is the barrel. Let's take a look at those now. Okay, so this particular version is the ELWF barrel on this one. F standing for fluted. It shaves about half an ounce off the regular barrel. Do you need it? Mm, well, maybe not so much. But the key thing about it is the profile. Unlike a regular M4 where you have that goofy notch cut out in the front of the, uh, the barrel, this one tapers gently from in front of the chamber all the way to the muzzle. So it's got some mass where it needs to be to absorb some heat. And out front, it's really, really lightweight so that you can maneuver it very quickly. In order to bring it up to legal length, it starts out as a 14 and a half inch barrel, but it has a threaded, pinned, and welded compensator on the end of it. So you've got 16.1 inches. Moving back down the barrel, you'll see it's a mid-length gas system. The mid-length gas system is a good compromise, and it produces a very soft shooting carbine, unlike in a carbine system with this length barrel, where you tend to get a very violent operating system. Looking at the handguard, you'll notice it's not skeletonized to the point where it's uncomfortable. It does, however, have a bunch of key mod slots all over it, so you can fit as many accessories on there as you want to. Although why you would want to put a lot of garbage on a lightweight carbine, nah, is beyond me. It does, however, have a full length top rail, so you can mount clip-on night vision in front of your day optic if you wish to. Moving towards the rest of the gun, you'll see it's pretty much full featured. What do I mean by that? Well, you have the BCM gunfighter charging handle, which is a great tool to assist in for you doing stoppage drills. The other thing we have is an ALG trigger, which gives you a better trigger pull than a stock, gritty, regular M4 trigger. We have a BCM gunfighter pistol grip, puts your hand in a really good position in order to operate the controls, and it has a regular safety and selector switch. At the rear of the gun, we have the BCM gunfighter mod zero stock. What I like about this is it's pretty much snag free. There's no knobs, buttons, levers, anything on there that's gonna get hung up on your kit. It's also completely serviceable. In order to remove it, all you need is a firing pin. Just press the release lever in, drop the firing pin into the hole, pull up on the lever, and it off it comes. You can then use an Allen wrench to completely disassemble it in about two minutes. All right, we've thrown some sights on this dandy little gun, so let's go take it to the range and see if we can't break it. Okay, we're at the range, we're all bombed up, ready to rock. Now let's go see how this baby runs. Oh, and let's see if the camera guys can keep up too. So we put about 250 rounds through this gun so far and it's run like a champ. The recoil impulse is really smooth because of its mid-length gas system. And the handguard is comfortable in the hands. However, because it's so light and because the barrel is a very light profile, it does tend to get heat up a little bit. Collapsible stocks are great for adjusting length of pull for different sized shooters or if you're wearing different clothing, for example, body armor. However, they have more points of failure than a fixed stock. So let's try and break this one. Yeah, I think that one passes the test. This KMR handguard is super lightweight at five and a half ounces, but is it robust enough? Let's find out. Guess it is. As far as I'm concerned, as an all-round carbine, it's something you can carry all day, put rounds on target with, is accurate and reliable. This thing fits the bill. Okay, enough talking. 
more shooting. I'm gonna put some rounds down range, come back for more recall videos.